Y'all know that I love my Harley Davidsons. I love riding on the street, but there's not really much better than a little daddy daughter dirt time. And we found a cool place to do that. I brought my daughter Alley Cat here to the spot in Alabama where not only is she riding and I'm riding, but a lot of dads and kids and moms are out here riding. Hey. I'm Wayne Brisky. I'm the director of operations here at Grand River Motorsports. Grand River Motorsports is an off-road park. We have 2,000 acres. We have a dedicated motorcycle area, which we're on now for the motorcycle race. We allow off-road motorcycles, Jeeps, buggies, four-wheelers, just about anything that'll go off-road. It's been great. We're just trying to get the word out. We get people every weekend that say, this place is great, but we didn't even know you were here. So that's our biggest challenge is getting the word out. Okay, so this weekend is an AMA sanctioned, what they call Sprint Enduro. And this is um, sanctioning organizations, Sarah and Citra are both combined together to do a, a dual sanctioned event along with AMA. Hey, thanks Megan Cantrell. I'm the mom of McLean Cantrell uh, from 85. We are from South Haven, Mississippi. So my husband is the president of the SERA organization, the race organization. Riding dirt bikes since he was six years old or so, so he races also, and so it's my little boys. I guess fourth year riding. Uh, my name is Chris Cantrell. I'm the current president chairman of the Southern Enduro Riders Association, which is a organizing body that has a Saturday racing today. Right now, our kids are racing at each of our events this Saturday afternoon. Before the adult race, our kids get together and race. We've got little kids, boys and girls, from four years old up to 14 years old racing right now, right behind us. Sure, so SERA is the Southern Enduro Riders Association. They first started sanctioning races in the southeastern United States. That's my son. <laughs> In 1975, so we're we're coming up quickly on our 50th anniversary. He's 12. He just turned 12. He's on a gas, gas 85. And so I. Right there. Well, he looks like he knows what he's doing. So we like the bike right now, make sure we can spot him. It's easy to spot him. I'll tell you what, my kids all grew up doing this. It keeps them out of trouble. It gives them a you know, positive reinforcement to stay off of the phone to do good in school. And it's a great family activity. I mean, you know, people camp out. You're out in the outdoors. You know, when you're not riding, you're sitting around a campfire having a great time. So it's, it's perfect for families. Well, so my husband's uh, grandfather grew up, uh, or he raced cars when he was little, so my husband's always around the racing. My husband's father, my father-in-law raced cars as well, and then they transitioned to dirt bikes when my husband was, you know, a young kid, and so he's been doing it, he's 46, and he's been doing it for 40 years, so oh, it's just wow. come from family, yeah. About every other weekend, we're on the road. It's our life, and I wouldn't have it any other way. It's, we always joke that it's a, racing is a good reason, an excuse for us to hang out with our friends and family. Nice. What's it like riding with your dad doing this stuff? Well, because I'm new, I just follow him around because I don't want to get lost or anything. And so I feel safer and it's also more fun to be riding out with someone. You're, you're really fun to hang out with. My father raised, he got me started racing when I was younger than my son is now. I grew up traveling all over the southeast to these races with my parents and now my wife and son travel all over the country with me. It's a great way to you know spend time with your family. You learn a lot of life lessons along the way. My favorite part probably is that big hill that we went up because it was like the, the most different experience I've had so far. It, was really fun. it makes it more fun when it's challenging because it's a lot harder to stay steady and upright. 
enduro historically was a timekeeping event where riders would start a cross country race at a designated time, let's say eight o'clock in the morning, and there were uh, checkpoints at different spots throughout the forest where you had to be at a certain amount of time. So you would have to run an average speed to get there at the right time. So a sprint enduro basically has sections. Now the kids race a little bit different format. They race continuously. But a sprint enduro, they'll run sections. So there may be an eight to 10 mile section. They'll run their time through that section to see who's the fastest. Then you get a small break and then you'll do that over and over. I believe they have five sections set up for this race this weekend. Now this is my first time. I think it's really cool that they have they made a place for this. And so cool seeing everyone here because I haven't really like met any more bikers, like dirt bikers that are my age. So that's really fun. And you've made a comment that you saw a lot more girls riding out here. Yeah. Well by that I mean I saw a pair of stick riding helmets. But yeah, I think that's I think that's really cool too. Well I just didn't expect it and I I thought it was cool because because I'm a girl. Beautiful here. Yeah, so I have only been through Mobile on my way to the beach. This is a fabulous I, a venue, I guess you would call it, for racing. The, the terrain is phenomenal. They've got a lot of land here. The the group of people and the organization that allowed us to race here uh, have really done a phenomenal job. And I'm not just saying that. Like, this, this place is just amazing. We're open Thursday through Sunday. On Thursdays and Sundays, it's 8 to 8. On Friday and Saturdays, we're open 8 a.m. to midnight. It sees this. Check us out online. It's uh, SCRARacing.com. There's a couple of Facebook pages. SCRA on Facebook, Southern Enduro Riders Association. And then there's a SCRA Racing Community page where you can pick up a lot of information, get schedules, anything you need to learn about racing. It's all there. It, it, it's a, a wealth of information, and I hope that uh, anybody that sees this will come out and race here. So you'll definitely enjoy it. Um, I'm really glad I got to come here and it's really fun. Come down to the Grand River Motorsports Park.